welcome to a weekly vlog welcome back to my channel i cannot stop looking at how mad my hair is oh my good god it is tuesday morning it is about 11 o'clock and yesterday i did a new curly girl method on my hair so if you have been watching for a while you'll know that i have naturally curly hair quite often if not all the time i actually straighten it um because i don't really love my natural curls but during the lockdown i've made more of an effort to and then this happened i will show you the products that i have been using i actually will have uploaded an instagram reel by this point already kind of talking through the products that i use but um i will show you them later in the vlog however i just thought we'd start it off now it is the start of a new week yesterday the rules in england altered to mean that you can actually go outside and sit on a bench now so like we're really thriving in England right now. No jokes, it means that you can sit on a bench with a friend and basically have a picnic slash a coffee or take out food or lunch, tea, breakfast, whatever you want as long as it's outside one-on-one -on -one with one other person in the outdoors. So I'm actually meeting my friend Gabby to do exactly that today. As I said before, I think I said this last week, a lot if not all of my other friends are back at university. So Gabby and I are going to go for lunch and sit outside. Yesterday I got a Domino's pizza and I have some pieces left over so I'm going to take my leftover pizza. This is the height of classy and exciting that I'm taking leftover pizza to sit on a bench to eat it with my friend but this is genuinely the highlight of the year so far. Like this is the first step in potentially normality returning. So like this is a big deal. So yeah, woo, love it. England is thriving, England is good. I am so excited. I genuinely am excited. I'm being sarcastic, I'm making a joke, but it is an exciting step. Why is it so flat and then goes out like that? I've got square hair. Oh, actually, before I even go, can we just talk about the fact that over the weekend, Zoe and Alfie announced that they're having a baby because I literally have not stopped thinking about this. And I think it would be weird if I didn't address it because if you have been watching for a while, you will know that I was like the biggest Zoella fan. I was a huge fan of the pair of them, but specifically a Zoella fan. And when I saw the news, I was honestly so, so shocked, but at the same time, just not shocked at all because I do feel as though people have kind of been like, waiting for this day. And I was so excited. It genuinely made my whole weekend. I have not stopped banging on about it. My parents are sick of it. I'm like, oh my God, as if, as if. And they're like, okay, we get it. She's having a baby. And I'm like, yeah, but like, it really just made me feel emotional. It made me feel a bit old. It made me feel like, oh, just so happy for them, to be honest. Like, yeah. And I know a lot of you guys watching were probably also Zoella fans back in the day, slash are still Zoella fans, because I watched her vlog the other day avidly. I was waiting. I was refreshing. I was like, come on, I want to watch this. And I felt 14 years old again, and it was great. Anyway, I'm gonna head out now, so I shall bring you along to our picnic that's not really a picnic, slash walk, slash pizza, slash whatever the hell we are about to get up to. so hard to not blink Same. during that. Guys, we're walking along a canal now. This is a really beautiful little walkway. Gabby's got a film camera. I've also got my film camera. Also, I really like Gabby's jacket. It's very similar to the green one I have. But look at how cute this is. It's like very spring-like. We've got daffodils. We've got a little like, keep wanting to call it a waterfall. It's not. It's where the canal like runs into the next bit. Then there's a horse over here. Here is Gabby. Hello guys, it has been the longest time. As you can see, it's now fully dark outside. My room is a complete and utter tip. I went out today without even making my bed. I've thrown so many things just all over the floor. Look at the bed that I'm sitting on right now. There's like plastic bags, there's my laptop, there's a mask, the clothes, oh my God, I'm embarrassed. I am gonna have a quick tidy up. It's actually like 11 p.m. It's ended up being super late, but I don't even know how and I'm also not tired. So I'm gonna tidy my room whilst watching some YouTube and then I'm gonna repaint my nails because these have chipped off. What a shocker. I have a nail varnish palaver at least once a week, but the color I'm gonna go for is this one. It's like a dark gray with like purpley undertones. It's called Generation Z by Essie. I do love having my nails done but I'm useless at doing them myself. And whenever I do them, they last about three days. No, not even three days, like two days. So if anybody has any tips on how on earth you can make your nail varnish last longer, please do comment them down below because mine literally just chips off so quickly. I've been really, really enjoying reading in an evening at the moment instead of like watching something. You guys probably know I go through phases, but I'm currently reading such a good book. Wind down time. Okay, good morning. 
I am dressed like a maths teacher. <laughs> I don't know why I paired this cardigan with this shirt, but here we are. I have these stunning new earrings in. Um, one of you guys actually reached out to me and was like, oh, I make earrings, do you want me to send you some? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that would be amazing. I think her account is called Darcy Violet. Like her name is Darcy Violet, but I will put it on screen here so that you can see, you can check it out. I'll leave a link down below because they're just stunning. So thank you so, so, so much, um, Darcy, for sending me these. I just love them. They're actually quite big and they're just like, oh, they're a bit of a statement. Anyway, we're on day three of the curls. I'm pretty impressed, to be honest with you. I have just had a meeting this morning. I've just jumped off a call with Peach Street, which is exciting. It's been a little bit quiet recently because basically for those of you that don't know, there is like a little team of us that are running a company called Peach Street. Um, I was one of the co-founders. It's a gym wear and loungewear brand and it's just been ticking over nicely since Christmas, to be honest. Like we've kind of had it on a back burner just because the forefront of the whole launch was like around Christmas time and there was just a lot of stuff going on and to be honest we were like right okay how do we get back to where we want to be so we've actually expanded in terms of people there are more people working on it now I think a lot of people thought this was like my side business and like a little hustle that I was doing and like merchandise which is not the case at all it is a startup company based in Beverly yeah there's a couple more people working in regards to that now it sounds exciting there's going to be some new products in the run up to summer which we're trying to finalize at the minute um, as well as smaller influencers that we want to get involved so if you're watching this and you have an instagram account that you know is like a small following but you're kind of happy to create content in the same way that influencers do please do reach out to peach street i will leave a link down below in the comment in the description even to our website and you can sign up to our affiliate scheme which basically means that you get like a discount for your followers and a discount for you and then profit when people buy it through your sales that kind of thing basically if you're watching this and you know that you're trying to be a smaller influencer we are really trying to look for people right now that are into gym style content lifestyle content loungewear content any outdoorsy kind of like fashion photographs that kind of thing please reach out to us because um obviously we are doing our own internal research but there will be people that we don't see and we don't find and we might miss so if you know that's you please do drop us an email or dm the instagram account because it would just be very very helpful and now i'm actually gonna go and drop some flowers around at my friend jenny's house basically she was in hospital yesterday i'm not really gonna go into it i don't think she would mind if she was here she would definitely talk about it with me but she's not she's not she's fine she is fine but i thought i'd take some flowers around because it's a nice thing to do but first i'm gonna have some lunch because i'm starving it's quarter to one and then yeah this afternoon i'm going to spend it filming reels because i said last week that i'm pretty obsessed with instagram reels at the minute and i've got a free day content wise so we're just going to churn out some real content baby because um they've actually been pretty successful in the last week and i don't just mean in terms of views like the views have been okay um but one of them got featured on the instagram featured reels tab which i was pretty happy about i don't really know what it means but i was pretty impressed with it and then also a brand reached out after seeing one of them and wanted to work with me which is really good it's been a good week and i i've really Really enjoy making the content as well so it's a bonus so in terms of curly girl hair products i told you i'd do an update so i wanted to show you these i have been using the lee stafford for the love of curls shampoo and conditioner and it's specifically for waves curls and coils and i think that this works really well but not on its own i've actually been pairing it with other products so i'm going to show you now okay so then the other products that i've been using are the cantu coconut curling cream now i tried to use this before and i just didn't really know how to use the product and it just in my hair super super sticky and i didn't use it right basically so i put it in my jaw then i watched a tutorial a couple of months later because i was like this is a massive thing of product i want to learn how to use it otherwise i'm just going to waste it so i watched a few youtube tutorials and then i thought okay i need to put it in my hair when it's soaking wet like not towel dried not even rinsed out out of the shower just like basically just soaking wet still um and i don't need to put on quite as much as i had so i separate my hair off into layers and i just put this in my hair and then brush it through using a denman hairbrush this is absolutely filled with hair it's disgusting so i'm going to keep it really far away um but this is the denman seven spike brush seven spoke brush i'm not too sure i will leave a link to it down below i got it on amazon it was like seven pounds some of you guys recommended me it on instagram actually i had a couple of dms saying you this brush it's so so good it separates your curl it really alters your curl pattern so what i do is i'll brush through the layer of my hair that i'm working on then i'll put in the cantu cream then i'll brush through it again and make sure that the cream is all the way from the root to the tip and then i will scrunch 
and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. I basically do that for like half an hour until my whole head is done. Then I've been using a diffuser. Any hair dryer and diffuser combination works. I have tried about four or five different ones and they do all work pretty much the same. However, I've just got a new hair dryer. T3 kindly sent me a little collection of hair products. I've got one of them here actually. So this brand is called T3. They also sent me their curling wand, but they also sent me their hair dryer and their diffuser. And I started using that this week and it just honestly, my hair just dried like this three days ago and it has stayed like this. On the second, third, fourth and fifth days I have been using this spray which is a leave-in conditioning moisture mist for waves, curls and coils and basically this is to help bring your curls like back to life after you've slept on your hair. So you spray it in and you scrunch it again. It does make your hair a little bit sticky but products all together work really well on my hair. Obviously I could probably improve this routine, this is just the routine I'm doing at the minute but I thought I would do a little update um, but yeah. Okay so we've got the goods, here they are. I went for like like a pink bouquet. I think it's quite pretty. However, they don't sell or they don't give flower bags anymore, which is great. Like I'm all for like no use plastic, but I don't see why they can't make like paper bags, which I know wouldn't be waterproof, but like the flowers were just dripping down my arm. And I was like, oh, do you have a flower bag? And the lady was like, oh no, but I can give you some tissue paper. So I've wrapped them in tissue paper, but they're just like leaking out onto my car seat. So I don't really know what to do about that. Um, and then I also got her some Maltese truffles and some Haribo Tang Fastics. Gonna drive around and drop them off now. Um, but yeah, I do. I quite like these. I think these are pretty. Let's go. Oh, Morrison's was busy. Loads of people in there. Disgusting. And I also had forgotten that schools have gone back, which means that it's lunch hour, which means that it's filled with school children slash students on their lunch break who have come to the supermarket. Uh, which I feel like, should they be out in the supermarket? I don't really know. But yeah, it was just, it was busy. Oh, oh my god. In the vlog, I look dreadful. Oh yes, my god. You, do. you don't look. You don't look dreadful, look at it. I'm hardly even dressed. You're wearing my old clothes, so you better not be disrespecting them. <laughs> We've ended up falling down a rabbit hole, guys. Um, the other day in a video, I said I'd put a photo in the vlog of what my mum looked like when she was 21. Not this. So she was like, oh, I'll find a picture so that you can like take a photo of it and insert it. Huge mistake. So we have ended up getting hours later. all of the old photo albums out and basically I just think mum has some sick photos from when she was like my age in the 90s and I've just been getting some fashion inspiration to be honest. So this one here is a photo album of when she did a trip to Hong Kong and Bali. How old were you when you went to Hong Kong and Bali? 22? 23. I think. So there's some such cool photos. So she went with her dad, my granddad, who's not alive anymore, but look, they're really cool. I'm more getting fashion inspiration. This is the Bali section. <laughs> that dress literally features everywhere. I must have took that everywhere I went. Look at how nice this place in Bali looks. I love that they're all like film photos as well. Like they're all actually in an album. This is what I want to do and wish I did more, which is why I got a disposable, no, not disposable, a film camera. <laughs> what are you laughing at? My hair. Your hair looked great. Not there. <laughs> oh dear, let me show that one. No, let's not show that one. Who's that geezer with the moustache? That was my French teacher at A-level. Why have you got a picture of your A-level Because that was teacher? our leaving day. There's all sorts of pictures in it. Mum, this day. photo is sick. Look at how cool my mum looks in this one. Wait, well, hang on, hang on. <laughs> You're not showing pictures until I've seen. <laughs> let me see. I think you look sick there. Well, I mean, I'm in the distance. It could be anybody, really, couldn't it? I'm pretty sure I have those shorts. Obviously still yet to go to Bali. That trip is uh, pending. <laughs> but these these photos make me want to go even more. This is when you went to Ubud, yeah? Did I? The monkey forest. Is that where that That's is? I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, you flew with Cathay Pacific? Yeah. When I go, flew with not coming back, we didn't. When I flew with Cathay Pacific last year, you said that you'd never heard I of them. I didn't. No, it was silk hair I've never heard oh, of. Yeah. We came back with Garuda, don't ever fly Garuda. Very nice, what's in this one? There's some nice pictures in this one actually. This is Madeira. Madeira? Yeah. That's in Europe, yeah? Well, These photos are so nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let me show that photo of Dad. <laughs> we <laughs> Look at the Dad. Band. How old was Dad here? We literally just got married. It was about the month after we'd come back off our honeymoon. So yeah. you were what, 25? You were 24, I can't believe Mum, Mum and Dad got married when they were 24 and I'm gonna be 22 this year. Also, don't ever remember being that blonde. Oh my God, Mum, you look so cool. Look at my mum and dad here. That is something you would see on Instagram these days. Like that is a fashionable couple. Well, now we know where you get it from. You met with Gav and Amanda? Yeah, that's how Dad met them. It was a bank trip. No, oh, you just went on a holiday. No, they tagged along. 
Amanda and I won. They're just tagged along. Can I include this? <laughs> yeah. you mind? So they're my godparents in these photos. Yeah. That's a nice dress as well. Why do you not still have any of these? I want to wear them. <laughs> these photos are lush. Look at that it's sunset. A it's a famous hotel in Madeira. And what's in this one? These are the six one ones. This is what we actually were looking for. Your hair is massive. <laughs> it's huge, isn't it? Mum looks like that trend that's currently going around on TikTok. It's like photos day in 19, 1992 or whatever the trend is, where they sit down and they wear like an outfit that would look in place in the 90s. This is the most 90s outfit and hairstyle I've ever seen. It's not even the 90s, it's the 80s. Oh, it's the 80s. <laughs> oh dear. Well, no, it must be the turn of the 90s. Oh, actually, it might, 1990. Be it might be 1990. Guys, this was not how I intended on spending my afternoon. I've got waylaid. I wanted to make a cup of tea and film some reels and now it's 3pm and I've been sat on the floor for an hour. But yeah, there are some really, really lovely photos and it's just making me want to print out my own film photos even more than I already do. Obviously at the minute there's not a lot to photograph so like there is there is none. But yeah, that's when it was. It says that do you know what's really sad? I've still got that dress. <laughs> yeah, but that dress still looks really good on you and also it's so in fashion. In fact, please may I have that no, dress? I, I, I don't actually know if I do. Look who I'm with now! It's my favourite fluffer! He's sleeping. Oh, Lottie. This dog is just too much for me sometimes. I just can't deal with how cute she is. All she wants to do is sleep. Oh my gosh, do you want to talk about these guys? <laughs> these are my mum's teddies from when she was born. <laughs> what year are these from? 1972. 1972. Basically, if you couldn't tell, we've been clearing through our loft, our photos. No, you can't have that in the vlog. <laughs> Basically, what I was saying was we're sorting through uh, photos and old items in the loft, and these guys, these guys say, "Oh, look at them with Lottie. She's not bothered with them." No, I to be fair, I think it's because because they smell really strong of they've been through the washer. They uh, smell have really they? strong of washing detergent, and I don't think she likes it. Well, that's a good thing because you won't want her to think no, that they're no, a no, dog she toy. She just come downstairs and the head's bitten off one of them. No, You're very trusting. She wouldn't do that. Would I, she not? I showed her them and she didn't want to go near them. Well, she doesn't look interested in anything right now. Lottie, are you even interested in us? <laughs> look at her. Is it all just too much, Lottie? <laughs> yeah, she's like, leave me alone. I'm napping. <laughs> okay, so we found the dress we were talking about. I can't remember the last clip that I filmed, but oh my God, guys, I love it. So it's actually from Miss Selfridge in the 90s, so 1995, I think my mum maybe said. She said it's about 25 years old. It's this beautiful silk um, fabric. I don't really know. I think if I turn it down, you'll be able to see it a bit better. Can you see that? I do think with a tan on like a summer holiday, this would be just beautiful. It is the most gorgeous length as well. It sits like perfectly above my knee, but it's not super, super short. It's like a good, kind of like I'm going out for dinner on holiday dress and I'm just imagining like imagine if I get to go to Greece at the end of the year this is just so beautiful I love wearing my mum's old dresses because I think that it makes me feel I was gonna say connected to her but that makes it sound as if she's died I don't mean it like that I mean it's in like it just makes me feel like they're getting a second lease of life and I'm obviously her daughter and like also it's recycling clothes but similarly those fashions have come back round and are in trend like these kind of dresses where it's almost like a slip dress are so in and will be in Miss Selfridge again this year. Well, it's not literally because Miss Selfridge is closed. You know what I mean, like this style, it doesn't look dated or out of fashion, but a couple of years ago it would have done that like, in 2010, this would have looked out of out of fashion, but now it's like super in. Um, so I love it. I literally love riding my mum's wardrobe because I just get new clothes. I need to tidy up now. Look at the state of the bed. Oh dear, oh dear, we are in trouble. Okay guys, it is Thursday now. As you saw, I was in a little workshop about Instagram. That was how I started this morning. Now I've just received the biggest, well, it's actually not that big, ASOS delivery, some more pairs of jeans and a beautiful little crop top, which is on top here. I'm gonna do a try on haul, probably on Reels or TikTok, but basically these are just more jeans. Last week, I don't know if you watched, um, can't remember if I vlogged it or if I just put it on Instagram, but I bought some jeans from Zara, but none of them fit. So I returned them all and I asked you guys on Instagram, where you thought was the best place to get jeans and literally everybody pretty much said ASOS or Bershka or Stradivarius. So I got Bershka and Stradivarius jeans off ASOS um, and then I also got this little crop top which I'm just obsessed with. Then I also have had a delivery from Superdrug um, which I didn't order but they gifted me and then I also got a glossy box so I've just had a lot of deliveries. Um, by the time this goes up I'll have already done a little haul. I'm gonna do a what I got sent in a week as an influencer. I've seen a lot of people doing that on Instagram reels and I really want to film one so 
yeah, I'm just gonna open up this super drug package because some of it is for Mother's Day. Okay, guys, I got a bit too excited and I just had to try it on right now. But these are the jeans, they fit me perfectly. They're from Bershka, they fit on the waist and the bum. I mean, they are still doing that like gapey thing, but they're really tight across the bum and across here, so like I wouldn't be able to have a different size. This is the best it's gonna get. But I do think they're really flattering actually. They've got rips in the knees, they're like straight leg, all the way down, kind of wide leg jeans. And then this is the crop top, which is from Miss Selfridge. I just think it's so cute. It's like a little bit, maybe like clueless vibes, mean girls vibes, the straps are a tiny bit long. This happens to me all the time because I have quite small shoulders. So straps just fall down all the time. But because of the style of the top, I think it will be easy to alter so I could like shorten them a little bit at the back. Yeah, I actually am really really impressed with this whole outfit. All of the jeans fit me which is so so much better. I think Zara's sizing is just a little bit out compared to Bershka and Stradivarius. Very 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 happy. I love these. Um, yeah, mission complete. Have you ever had a Zoom set up like this before? My room is now so messy, my room, my office, that I physically can't actually get to sit over there. So I'm about to jump in a meeting with the hair brand T3, as I told you yesterday. Um, but my laptop's just propped here. This is really, really professional, really good. Love spending hundreds of pounds on a desk setup, but the room be so messy that you can't physically sit at the desk. Uh, after I've finished this call, which I'm kind of hoping is like a workshop where you actually don't need to have your camera on, I think I say that every single time, um, I'm gonna tidy up because even though a lot of it's not messy, it is birthday presents for Tom, my dad, and Mother's Day presents for my mum, and PR deliveries from the week that are still in their box, is still just looking messy even though like they're not it's not mess it's just like stuff um so i'm gonna tidy up after this but woo, right gonna hop on this now got myself a little strawberry and banana smoothie for the call which my mum actually just made me because she was making one for herself and brought me one up what a gem but yeah i'm gonna drink this whilst i join at the call this is the product that they have just launched that they've sent me out it is a curling iron for like wide curls i think you know the curls that are quite trendy the molly may style curls that's the kind of vibe they're going for so they've just launched this and they've kindly sent me out to try in collaboration with their launch okay i'm gonna turn my camera on but news in the call which i didn't even know about Okay, now the mess has just kind of like expanded. Oh my god, this is an actual pigsty. If they could have seen it behind the scenes on that call, they would have been like, oh, she's professional. But anyway, I'm off that Zoom now. It was actually really lovely. There was a few familiar faces, new was in the call, which was lovely. Um, although the whole tutorial was how to curl your hair. Not really sure I needed to join that today, but it was beneficial because obviously I do often style my hair with a curler but not these kind of curls. So like, I couldn't really join in. Everybody was doing the curls live on the camera, but I can't curl my hair without straightening it first. And I hadn't pre-straightened it because to be honest, I just didn't want to use heat on it just for the sake of it. But I do think that once I had straightened my hair, this product would be so, so good. So this is the new T3 Curler ID. And when you turn it on, in fact, I'll demonstrate so you can see. Turn it on like this. It's all touch screen, hold it down. And then it comes on and you can see all of these settings and these are customizable for your hair type. So this one here tells me that I've already set it up so i have thick hair so it's on the fullest setting this i clicked on because my hair has been dyed so i have hair dye so i am prone to damage because i have dyed hair and then the one underneath which you can't really see is for if you've had chemical treatment on your hair so if you've had it chemically straightened or chemically curled i guess permed and input all of these settings and then it calculates how, how hot the iron needs to get so mine is on five out of nine because obviously i've got quite thick hair but i don't have any chemical treatment so it doesn't need to be on full full heat basically it's really clever technology that works out the best heat for your hair given everything given the strength given the condition given the dye given the thickness and then it means that your hair is like less heat damaged. I think it's a really, really clever concept and it's really, really good if you are prone to really bad heat damage from heat products. Um, so this product is just really great. It's ceramic, it's fully up to heat now. You can see how quickly that was. This sounds like a brand deal, it's not, but I do just think that once I have straight hair, this will be such a good product. It is a clamp, it's not a wand. So they were basically just demonstrating how best to use it, but yeah, I really like it. I'm really glad they sent me it and I really enjoyed the call. The whole thing being touchscreen is so funky. Oh, there we go. Shock horror guys, it's Friday and I haven't ended the weekly vlog so I'm going to end it here. I'm just having a manic day um, but I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, give it a huge thumbs up. I filmed my video for Tuesday earlier on and when I say it's the biggest, biggest mess of a video you've ever seen, I mean I'm actually debating whether or not I should even upload it. But <laughs> it'll be up on Tuesday. I think I can edit it so that it's salvageable but honestly, yeah, it's 
funny. It's funny. That's all I'm going to say. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thank you so much for the love on all of my content I've been putting out this week. And if you're not following my Instagram, I've been putting a lot of reels out at the moment. So definitely head over there and follow me if you're not already. And I shall see you on Tuesday. Bye, guys. <laughs>